hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my protective hairstyle routine with short hair so i'm going to be using my meals overnight conditioner it's a deep conditioner and it works so good i'm also going to have a wide tooth comb on my side so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a generous amount when i say generous i mean a lot of the meals product to my scalp i don't want no dry part on my scalp I want it all moisturized. Also, can we take a moment to like see the growth that is happening on my hair? So I'm just gonna take the coils out with my fingers, the ones that are still in my head. Mind you guys, this is only three weeks. I did not go the full month just because I have an event coming up and I need my hair done. And then in a second, I'm going to go in with the wide tooth comb. If y'all watch my vlog, you guys know that I've been using a product. When I tell y'all that stuff, it makes your hair grow and it makes your hair thick. I am not kidding with you guys. So now I'm just going to go in with this wide tooth comb. You can also soak your hair in water before you do that, which that's really what I should have did. But I'm kind of already here now, so. So basically, after I put that on my head, I'm going to put this bag around my head. And then I'm going to put my bonnet on. And then I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. So now it is time to get in the shower and wash my hair. So this is my hair the night after. And when I tell you guys my hair is so soft, I kid you not, it's so soft. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with my shampoo. And I'm going to do two lathers of this melanin shampoo. This shampoo is the clarifying shampoo. And because I use a lot of oils in my hair and a lot of products when I do my hair, I do want to use that clarifying shampoo when I'm lathering. So after I'm done washing my hair, I'm literally going to throw this t-shirt on my hair. It acts as a towel and it doesn't pull my hair. And then literally after that, we're going to the hair station because baby, we about to get this together so now i'm prepping my hair so that i can blow dry my hair so as you guys know if y'all watch my vlogs and everything i do my own hair so of course i could try to get somebody else to do it but as a hairstylist i've literally been doing my hair for as long as i can remember y'all could really stop after the blow drying process but after the blow drying process i'm going to literally part my hair into the style that i'm going to be doing so i'm going to be doing a braided style definitely going to be trying something new getting out of my comfort zone and everything like that but yeah, so I'm just got using all the materials that I had showed y'all earlier. And we're about to get this thing, we're about to get this show on the road. So taking the Miel's leave-in conditioner. Y'all, okay, let me let me pause right here. So I've been hearing bad things about the Miel shampoo and conditioner. I really hope that is not true because I really do love this brand. I love this product. Or at least I hope they don't change the leave-in conditioner for me because I actually do love the leave-in so much. So hopefully that remains the same. If not, now I'm going to have to find something else. So hopefully it doesn't change. But yeah, that's that. So I did section my hair into four and then each of those sections i section into two and two of those sections i section into three but anyways what i would do with the section is i would apply the leave-in on there with my hands of course and then i would finger detangle with my hands and then i would go in and detangle with the comb and then i would just kind of detangle back and forth with my fingers in the combs and then i literally just braid that section up y'all i know i look a mess these braids are gonna be like sitting out my head like some needles out of or like a porcupine or something okay i get it i get it but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to braid that up and then I'm going to do that to the rest of my hair.
So now here is the fun part. Not really. So now I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. So of course I have the comb nozzle part and I'm going to take that braid out. And I did not get to show you guys. I, I guess I did. I forgot to record it. So I did it off camera. But you see me massaging my some product into my hair. It was actually that hair growth mixture that was in that the product list. I used that and I put it on my scalp. And I'm also going to use that as a heat protectant. So as I take the braid out, I'm going to make sure that I massage it into my scalp and then kind of rub the excess onto my hair strands. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blow my hair out. Stay tuned for my next video so y'all can see why I just made that face. But now I'm done blowing my hair out. Look at my little mini afro going on or whatever I got. Whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and part my hair. So this is where you guys could just stop if you were going to go get your hair done. Um, you know, at a salon or get your hair done by somebody. This is basically where you would stop um, if you had a stylist who did not do everything if you had a stylist who didn't shampoo who basically didn't do everything but this is where most people will probably stop but for me since i do my own hair my protective style prep also includes me sectioning my hair for whatever style that i'm going to do today so today i wanted to do um the six straight back braids so yes i got a big forehead and i know i got a big forehead and i love my big forehead so styles don't intimidate me as long as i feel like i look cute in it i'm straight i'm good but now I'm just going to section my hair. So what I did is I had my mirror, of course, you know, you just section it. This was a very tedious and long process. Not going to lie to you guys at all. But once I was section those hairs to get them at least a little bit decent, I then twisted that section up. So make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video because in the next video, I will show you guys the finished product of the hairstyle. And I also did my nails. So yeah. But yeah, so I'm going to just let y'all um, watch me part my hair, y'all. Like I'm literally parting my hair. <laughs> And that is it, you guys. That is the protective hairstyle prep. Literally, the only thing that I have to do is add the weave into my hair. But I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure if you like this video to check out another video. And I will catch you in the next video.